All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the multiplicative inverse. What the multiplicative inverse states is for any um, uh, non-real zero, non-zero real number a, when we multiply a times one over a, what we do is we get one. So what pretty much the multiplicative inverse, you know, if we're gonna look at this, let's just take any number, let's just take a number five. And I wanna think, what can I multiply five by that's gonna get me one. And that's pretty much what the multiplicative inverse states is. If you take a number, multiplying it by what is going to give you back to one? Well, um, the only number that we can work with that we can multiply by five, because if you think about it, a lot of the numbers, the basic numbers, five times one gives you five, five times zero gives you zero. So, and five times five will give you 25. So what we're gonna have to, it's gonna have to be smaller than one. So it's gonna have to be a fraction. And then if we write it as five, over five times one fifth, if we multiply these fractions across, I hit five over five equals one, which one equals one. So just remember the multiplicative inverse is pretty much your number over one. So let's say, how about if I did a fraction? Let's say I did one third times what gives you one. Well, just kind of like the opposite, if it's five times one fifth gives you one, one third times three is gonna give you one. And mathematically, I can show this to you. Uh, I don't know in this video if it's uh, appropriate. Just kind of remember to always, you know, it's either a fraction or what we're gonna be talking about soon here, the reciprocal of the other number. So it's either, um, just take your number and then put it over under one and you'll have your multiplicative inverse.